Let's talk. Situated 70 kilometers from Bloemfontein, he played host to the Mareka Ford Caledon 400, the penultimate round of the MSA Off-Pro Championship. The father and son duo of Franz Jebek Sr. and Jr. have wrapped up the Special Vehicle Championship with two events to go. While reigning Class B champion, Phil Nell has matters under control in Class B. While Chebek Sr. has had a phenomenal run this season with six consecutive victories, the battle for second place in Class A rages on. I think it's more a situation of, a, of myself or John or one of the other guys actually trying to win a race because France has won all events this year and, and I think that, you know that, that's my first priority. I, I'm, I'm not too concerned about the championship. My, my concern is actually to go and beat France out there in, in, in a race before the end of the year. The battle for the lead in the production vehicle category has waged between Bucks, Carolyn and Shumi Frontier in all season, but with two races to go, Neil Woolridge and Camille de Villiers are in with a chance. While overall victory has eluded Bucks, Carolyn and Henny to Steger in the works Mitsubishi Pajero, consistent podium finishes see them with a slender five-point lead in the championship. On the class championship, we've got a fairly comfortable lead there. If we can finish the next two races, then we don't necessarily have to win. If we do a good class finish, second, third, fourth, then we should battle for the championship for the class. Manfred Schroeder and Jack Beckham are the class E leaders in the Mareka Ford Ranger and have had a gaggle of Toyota crews intent on wrestling the lead away from them. 60 special and production vehicles entered the Mareka Ford Caledon 400. Class A had 15 entries while Class B had 10, Class D 14, Class E 11 and Class T 10. With the production vehicle championship and five of the six class championships still to be decided, the competition promised to be tough. Ahead of the cruise lay a 44-kilometer time trial to determine starting positions for Saturday's main event, which would be contested over a testing 455-kilometer course. Neil Woolridge and Kenny Scotthammer gained an early advantage when they posted the quickest time in the French book from a record for Ranger V8. The reigning production vehicle champions won the recent Queen Motors Fair's Taka 400. Relative newcomer to off-road racing, Greg Douse, set the quickest time in last year's event, but had to be content with second place this time around. On board with veterans Hannes Fredler and Richard Leek, who were third quickest despite breaking two front drive shafts on the Nissan Hardbody Super Track. The pair won the Mitsubishi Marvel Stand 500 earlier in the season, but have had a spate of non-finishes in recent events, only due to gearbox problems. <laughs> Fifty-four-year-old Franz Chebek Sr. and standing co-driver Steve Parker had a good run in the Porsche-powered V-Motors Chenworth and would start in fourth place on Saturday. A welcome return to form for the Castro Toyota Land Cruiser of multiple production vehicle champions Arpi Reinecke and Robin Houghton. Many hours of development work by the Toyota Motorsport team had finally paid off and they were rewarded with joint fourth place in the time trial. Former Special Vehicle Drivers Champion and reigning Special Vehicle Co-Drivers Champion Bucks Carolyn and Co-Driver Henny Costega had a good run in the Mitsubishi Pajero qualifying six quickest and a mere seven seconds behind Reineke. The Production Vehicle Championship leaders have been cast in the bridesmaids role all season and were looking for their first win. Rookies Atang Makahaneni and Mike Stangle had mattered well under control in the supercharged Porsche Bauer Jimco and they would start in 7th position. Makahaneni co-drove for Bevan Berthold last year and switched over to the driver's seat this year. Another rookie, Terence Marsh, made his debut in the special vehicle category earlier this year and has put up some impressive performances. Reigning Class D champions Han Bobber and Kara Prenslu have not had the best of seasons, but their impressive ninth position gave notice to the other Class D contenders that they meant business. Winners of two races this season, Camille de Villiers and François Yodan, also meant business, but a puncture and broken front drive shafts would see them start in 21st position in the Nissan Hardbody. <laughs> Terence Marsh is a former off-road motorcycle racer who made the switch to four wheels earlier this year. The cartoon based businessman has some ambitious plans for next season. We're really going to have a look at this race and see how the, the car does get used to the car. After this race, we'll be, we'll be stripping the car and rebuilding it for, for next season. We've got big plans next season. 
We'll be uh, racing in a team called Bosch Logistics next season. Uh, myself and Greg Gass will be uh, will be driving. There'll be two cars involved. So we're very much looking forward to that. For the rest of the season, we're very much complete. We'll be moving to the roof of Africa, which we'll be doing on the bike. So the cars uh, will then go to get set up for next year. Woolridge clinched the number one spot, followed by Dowse. Hitler was third quickest despite breaking drive shafts, while Reinecke and Chepek would start on the same second.